Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Magento 2. In today's default workflow of the Magento 2, we'll be checking out the various offline payment methods that are available within the Magento 2 itself that are numbered in 5 there. So we'll be checking the workflow of these payment methods at the storefront, how these uh, payment methods appear at the storefront to the customers at the checkout time. And apart from that, we'll also be seeing the backend configuration setting for each of these payment methods in the admin backend panel there. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial today, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So let's hop on to the admin backend panel and the front end and let's see the workflow of these payment methods that are the offline payment methods that are provided by default in the Magento itself by checking the same. So basically, uh, the Adobe Commerce and the Magento open source include a number of built-in offline payment methods which do not require the services of a third-party payment processing company. So these uh, payment, in, in payment methods include zero subtotal checkout, cash on delivery payment, bank transfer payment, check money order and purchase order. So we'll be going through each of these payment methods one by one in the admin backend panel and we'll be seeing how we can configure these payment methods in the first place. So right now you can see that I'm at the storefront right now and I'm on one of the categories that's the watches categories having different products here and here you can see that I've already logged into my customer account. So what I'll be doing is I'll be adding a product in the cart uh, there to show you the different payment methods that are visible to the customers at the checkout time that are the offline payment methods. So let's add this wireless mouse into the cart there. So I have added it into the cart there as you can see and let's tap here on the proceed to checkout button. So at the checkout time first we have to select the shipping method and then we'll be redirected to the other section where we have to select the payment method. So here we have to select the shipping address and the shipping method and then tap on the next button thereafter. Then on the review and payment section, here you'll find the payment method section where we have to select the payment method and here you'll find the complete list of payment methods that are available uh, there and uh, the customers can choose any one of them to select any one and can proceed further to place the order. So all of these payment methods that you can see right now like the check money order, cash and delivery, bank transfer payment, purchase order, all of these are offline payment methods that can be used by the customers and these can be configured by the admin from the Magento backend panel and these are the payment methods that are there by default in the Magento backend itself. So for example, if I select check and money order, then uh, you'll see that make check payable to the name is there this is customizable and you can set it up as per your requirement from the uh, payment method configuration settings there send check to details these can be also set up same goes with the cash on delivery for example if i choose cash on delivery then i can set up you can pay at your doorstep to the delivery boy and the customers can then tap on the place order button same goes with the bank transfer we have provided the information there paid to the bank account number, the IFSC code of the bank account and then we have the purchase order wherein the customer needs to enter the purchase order number to place the uh, order. So the commercial customers can uh, make use of the purchase order number here to place the order thereafter. So the very first uh, payment method I want to show you is uh, uh, the uh, zero subtotal checkout and I'll be showing you the zero subtotal checkout workflow at the front end as well. So for now, let me go back. So I was just showing you the uh, payment methods or the offline payment methods that are visible to the customers at the checkout time after they have added the products into the cart there. So let me remove this uh, mouse product right now. And uh, what I'll be doing is I'll be taking you to the admin backend panel and here we'll be logging into the admin backend panel by entering the username, password and tapping on the sign in button thereafter. So uh, to set up the payment methods there or the offline payment methods that are provided by the Magento by default there, what you can do is you can navigate through stores and then configuration. On the configuration page here, what you have to do is you have to navigate to the particular section that's the sales section and here you'll find the payment methods and you have to tap on that payment methods. And this would uh, basically bring up this particular section as you can see and here we are have here we have a go to the other payment methods as you can see rest uh, other payment pay paypal uh, payment solutions are there 
for these you need to have the credentials so as to set them up and they are the third pro what we say as the third party payment processing company payment uh, solutions there so we'll go to the other payment methods and here you'll find the complete list of offline payment methods available for your store that are zero subtotal checkout check money order bank transfer payment cash and delivery payment and the purchase order as well so the very first one that we have here is the zero subtotal checkout and here we have the configuration settings for the zero subtotal checkout uh, payment method so let me show you the workflow of this uh, payment method at the front end but before that let me tell you that the zero subtotal checkout can be used for the orders with a subtotal of zero that are text after a discount is applied for example zero subtotal checkout might be used in the following situations that includes a discount covers the entire price of the purchase with no additional charge for the shipping the customer adds a downloadable or a virtual product to the cart and the price is zero price of a simple product is zero and free shipping method is available a coupon code covers the full price of the product and shipping uh, so in these situations the zero subtotal checkout can be used for the orders with a subtotal of zero that are text after a discount is applied to save time zero subtotal orders can be set to automatically invoice as well as for the requirement there so uh, for the this particular example we'll see when a customer adds a downloadable product to the cart and the price is zero then the zero subtotal checkout payment method gets visible to the customer in there so for that what i'll do is i'll go with this downloadable product that has a price of zero i'll add it to the cart there after adding it to the cart you can see that it has been added to the cart let's proceed to the checkout thereafter now on the checkout first we have to select the shipping address then the shipping method but in this case uh, we don't have to do this because this is a downloadable product so there's no shipping uh, method to be selected for this it is a digital product there so directly we can see the payment method and here you can see that we have the zero subtotal checkout and the customer can tap here on the place order button to place the order for this particular downloadable product that has a zero subtotal checkout available for placing the order so if i go ahead and i like tap here on the place order button the order would be placed with the payment method as zero subtotal checkout so the order has been placed if we check the order number 17 here here you can see that the payment method selected by the customer was zero subtotal checkout as you can see here the same is as well to the admin in the admin backend panel as well for the particular order for example if i go to the sales and orders this is the order number 17 and here if i open the order number 17 for example here's the order number 17 if i view the particular order by tapping here on the view link here if i scroll down then you can see that the payment information shows the zero subtotal checkout was selected by the customer to place the order using the zero subtotal checkout payment method there itself now let's come back to the stores configuration on the configuration page we'll go to the sales section once again and here we'll go to the payment methods and under the payment methods here we'll go to the other payment methods and here we have the zero subtotal checkout so to enable this uh, particular zero subtotal checkout uh, payment method what you need to do is you need to enable this up by selecting this option as yes you have to set the title that would be visible to the customers at the checkout time so the zero subtotal checkout was visible to the customers when we saw the zero subtotal checkout payment method under the payment method section at the checkout time then you can set up the new order status uh, as pending processing or suspected fraud as per your own requirement so for the new order status you can set it up as per your own requirement then you can set up the payment from applicable countries whether you want to allow this payment method for all of the countries or for specific countries if you want to choose it for specific countries then you can select the specific countries and using the control on your keyboard and using the left mouse button you can select the countries for this uh, of payment method so the select countries would be applicable for the uh, particular payment method that's the zero subtotal check out there otherwise you can use it as allow all or allow all allowed countries then all allowed countries would be able to make use of the zero subtotal checkout payment method there now after the zero subtotal checkout then we have the check money order uh, payment method so now let me show you how the check money order gets visible to the customers at the storefront 
So for that, what I'll do is I'll go back to one of the categories there, that's the watches category. And I'll add one product into the cart, that's the wireless mouse. Let's add it to the cart. After adding it to the cart, I'll just proceed to the checkout. Now, because this is a physical product, then uh, in this case, the shipping would be applicable. So we have to select the shipping address and the shipping method and tap on the next button thereafter. And here under the payment methods, you can see that we have the check and money order. So the customer can select this check and money order payment method and can select it to place the order. After placing the order, then he'll be able to create a check uh, with the name payable to and can send that particular check to the particular address. And after the realization of the check to the admin there in his account, after the amount has been created into the admin's account, the order can be processed further as per the requirement there. Until then, this would be under the pending process. Uh, so this was the check money order, how it appears to the customers under the payment methods section there. Now here you can enable or disable this check and money order. Then you can set the title that is visible to the customers. So here you can see that we have the check and money order title visible to the customers there. We can set the new status, uh, new order status as pending for the orders that have been placed uh, through the check and money order. For those new order status would be set as pending. Then you can choose the payment from applicable countries, whether all in out countries or specific countries. You can go with the specific countries as well from where you want to accept the checks or the money orders from. Then you can set up the make check payable too. You can set it up as per your own requirement. The same is visible at the storefront on the checkout page to the customers. Uh, then we have the send check to you can set up the address where the uh, check needs to be sent to that is visible to the customers as well Then you can set up the minimum order total and the maximum order total So the order total should be between hundred and thousand or it can be hundred dollars as well or thousand dollars or between hundred and one thousand there so that this particular payment methods gets uh, uh, enabled at the checkout for the customers to select if the order total is not uh, as per the set minimum and the maximum order total, then the particular uh, payment method would not be visible to the customers at the checkout time. So for example, here you can see that I've set the uh, uh, minimum order total and maximum order total for all of these payment methods as 100 to 1000 for the bank transfer as well, 100 to 1000. But for cash and delivery, I've set it between one and thousand. And for purchase order as well, I've set it to from 100 2000 there so in this case what will be do what it what would uh, happen is that in this case uh, because i've set the minimum and the maximum order total between 100 and 1000 so if uh, i'm adding a product in the cart for example let me show you that if i'm adding a product in the cart that is having a value less than 100 then i'll only be able to see the particular payment method that's the cash on delivery because for that we have set the minimum order total as one and the maximum order total as thousand so let me show you that as well and then we'll hop on to the other payment method that we have so here i'll just go and here i'll just remove this product from the cart there and after removing the product from the cart i'll add a product for example battery non-rechargeable i'll add it to the cart there and after adding it to the cart, I'll proceed to the checkout thereafter. And here what I'll be doing is, uh, here I'll be selecting the shipping method and I'll just tap here on the next button. So now you can see that because the order total is between uh, one and thousand there. So the cash on delivery is only visible to the uh, customers at the checkout time there, right? So the cash on delivery was there, right? So that was about the zero subtotal check money order. Let's see the bank transfer payment method. So for that, I'll just add one more product into the card there. So let me go ahead and let me remove this particular uh, product that we had added. Uh, let me remove this out from the card there. And let me add this wireless mouse once again to the card. And let's proceed to the checkout thereafter. On the checkout page, we'll select the shipping address, shipping method, tap on the next button. So for now, I'll just keep myself on this page only and we'll see the rest of the uh, payment methods as well. So we are done with the uh, check money order, cash and delivery, check money order, 
okay we have to see the cash and delivery as well so we are done with the zero subtotal checkout check money order now let's see the bank transfer payment the similar way you can set up the bank transfer payment uh, method as well so in this you have to enable the payment method by selecting the option as a yes here then you can set up the title that would be visible to the customers at the uh, checkout time there and then you can set up the new order status uh, for the orders that have been placed using the bank transfer payment as pending then you can select the allowed countries from which you want to make use of the bank transfer payment there then you can give the instructions pay to the account number the IFSC code then you can set up the minimum order total the maximum order total and you can set the sort order for the payment method at the checkout time there and after setting this up you'll have to tap on the save configuration button there and the particular payment method that's the bank transfer payment method would be visible to the customers at the checkout time as you can see and here they can see the particular details of the same that includes uh, the information for paying to the account number the IFC code or any other details for the bank transfer payment that needs to be made uh, to the uh, admin there so the customers can place the order initially and after placing the order they'll be able to then uh, make the payment to the admin in the respective account number that has been provided and the customer can transfer the amount to the bank account of the admin there and after the realization of the uh, particular amount there by the admin the admin can further process the order there so this is how we can use the these uh, offline payment methods and place the order at the very same time there now after the bank transfer payment uh, so we are done with the zero subtotal check money order bank transfer payment now let's see the cash and delivery the cash and delivery payment method is also same to the rest of the ones so you have to enable it up by choosing a yes or a no you'll have to set up the title of the same that is visible to the customers at the checkout time set the new order status as pending payment from applicable countries whether all in out countries or you want to have it from specific countries and you can choose the specific countries as per your own requirement there if there are any instructions for the cash and delivery you can set them up and those uh, instructions would be visible to the customers at the uh, checkout time so here you can see that for cash and delivery the particular instruction is visible here the same instruction is visible here then you can set up the minimum order total and the maximum order total for this particular payment method to be available or to be enabled for the customers at the checkout time uh, so this was the cash and delivery configuration settings then we have the purchase order so basically a purchase order allows cus uh, commercial customers to pay for authorized purchases by referencing the purchase order number the purchase order is authorized and issued in advance by the company that is making the purchase during the checkout the customer chooses the purchase order as the method of payment upon receipt of the uh, of your invoice the company processes the payment in the accounts payable system and pays for the uh, purchase but kindly know that but before accepting payments by purchase order always establish the credit worthiness of the commercial customer there so the same goes with the configuration settings of the purchase order you will enable it up you will set the title there you will set the new order status there you will choose the payment from applicable countries whether all allowed countries or specific countries so you can set it up as per your own requirement there then you can set up the minimum order total and the maximum order total uh, uh, should be there uh, that would enable the particular payment method at the checkout time so for the purchase order if i go with the purchase order here we have the purchase order so the commercial customer needs to enter the purchase order number here and after entering the purchase order number he'll be able to place the order using the offline payment method that's the purchase order so in today's video tutorial i showed you all of the uh, default payment methods uh, or the offline payment methods that the magento provides that includes the zero subtotal checkout cash and delivery payment bank transfer payment check money order and purchase order as well and i hope that this particular video helped you out in understanding the workflow at the customer end at the checkout as well as at the admins end and if you still have any questions queries uh, there you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.huvidesk.com as well apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead